up everybody how you doing today today we are putting the wise robot vacuum through the full floor plan test i have a pretty decent sized floor plan and i'm really curious to see if this guy's going to be able to map it all in one run or how if it's going to have to go back and recharge and then come back out and then i want to see how good the map looks after a long run we'll see how long the entire job takes and then we'll take a look also at how well it cleaned I didn't really put down much of a mess this time. Just a little bit of debris here and there, just to see how well it does, basically. This thing definitely struggles a bit on hardwood floors. That's just some uh, chips that spilled. I put down a little bit of fruity pebbles there. Very little bit of fruity pebbles over here. It's gotta go into that room, which is basically already clean. It's gotta do my living room dining room. I set out a chair and I put a bunch of fruity pebbles around it. So I want to see how well it cleans around chair legs. Got to do my kitchen. Entryway and then I opened up a couple more small rooms, laundry room, and then my pantry. So we'll see how well it maps out these small rooms as well. So it should be a pretty good test. Um, I'm really curious. I don't know if it's going to be able to handle it in one run. I really hope it does because once again, like I've said, I'm comparing this to the Roborock and the Roborock S5 I have can do this entire same floor plan on high suction power and have 55 to 60 percent battery life left. Now that is a much bigger battery. It's 5,200 compared to this one's 3,200. But I'm still curious to see if it can handle with one charge, which would be awesome. All right, I'm going to send this guy out while I'm gone today. And hopefully when I get back, it'll be fully done. All that stuff will be picked up and it'll give us a good map. And then maybe we'll look into the map and see if it labeled any more rooms, or if I can do anything else with the map than just add no-go zones. All right, LiDAR dude is at 100% battery. I'm gonna run him on standard suction for this, because I'm pretty sure it's strong. It's gonna have to go back and recharge. I wanna see if it can do it without. I reset the map already, so it's a clean slate, and uh, let's send it out. Starting cleaning. Well, thank you. And at the end of this video, we'll look at the rollers and I'll show you how it did with the hair on the last test, which I forgot to show you guys. So I'll definitely add that in this video. So hopefully this guy does a really good job. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to run this again after it does the full map of this floor plan and time it and see if it does the job much quicker. And we'll put down the same debris everywhere and we'll see if it does a better job cleaning that same debris. And let me know down in the comments if you want to see anything at all with this guy. As always, please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I will see you later when this is done. Awesome day and I'll see you in a bit. Alright everybody, I am back home and the wise lighter dude is back and done. Let's uh, take a look at the map and all the information it gave us. See how accurate it all is. So there's the map of my house. This is the first time I'm looking at any of this, so we'll be looking at it together. Let's see. I say this thing is very, very, very accurate as far as the map. As you can see that star there, that's actually my computer chair. Those four circles there, that's the dining chair that I set out. And yeah, this is what's so amazing about LiDAR. This is a great representation of my house. 
You can even see and tell here, those are my couches. Then that is a coffee table. Uh, the LiDAR based robots cannot fit under the couch because of the LiDAR. So it does have a, basically a push button on top. So if it tries to go under the couch, that button will push and then it'll tell it, okay, you can't go under there basically. But very, very accurate. I like that a lot. Dining room table, all the chairs. And yeah, it's, it's basically a perfect map, which I expected with the LiDAR. Let's go ahead and see how well it did for that job, time-wise. Clean records. All right, so 950 square feet. Took 1.9 hours to complete total. I had no errors at all. And uh, yeah, it did, it did a really good job. I think it was at, if I remember right, because I got an alert, I believe it was around 11% battery life left when it got done. So let's take a look at how well it did. Remember I put down some fruity pebbles on the floor here and then there were some chips. As you can see, this thing just does not do very good on hardwood floor. Because most of my other robots for that little bit, this would be completely gone. Especially the Roborock. I guarantee you my Roomba i7 and S9 Plus completely gone. Yes, those are much more expensive. But I have to throw those in this comparison. And let you know what this guy does good and what it doesn't do good. So hardwood floor, not a very good job. Carpet. Pretty good job overall. Like I said, this was not a big mess whatsoever for it to clean up. But I just want to see how well that map is, and that map is excellent. Let's check around the chair here. I put down quite a bit of fruity pebbles, so there is some left, but it did a little bit better than I expected. If you had it go out again, that would be completely gone. I know there was some debris on the ground in here, and all of it's gone. And then in my larger room, there's definitely some stuff on the ground and that is all gone as well. So I will say it, it did a very good job on my full floor plan. I'm actually very happy with it. Only thing I think this thing could do better on is the hardwood floors. Carpet, I'd say it's good enough since you're probably going to run it every day, every other day. But there is better robots out there. But once again, not at the $200 price mark. So if you could pick this up for $200, like, for real, it's probably the best robot vacuum you can buy. Or I will say, I it, it, no, it is. For $200 or less, this is the best robot vacuum you can buy because it has the LiDAR. As you can see from that map I made on my house, which is pretty much perfect, it's, it's a no-brainer. This will blow away any of the random navigation robots out there, and most of those are around the price of this. Now, if this was $300... I would say go ahead and step up to Roborock without a doubt. The Roborock is definitely better overall, cleans much better. So the map's very good. The Roborock app is better. You can divide rooms and make rooms, tell it to go clean certain rooms. Unfortunately, this one, I don't see where I can divide the rooms myself, which is a huge bummer. Let's go back and see if I missed anything. So you can see this separates the rooms for you. See, this is, it's, it's not good at all. So as you can see on this map, it separates it into four different rooms. And it's really not very good. You have room one and two there, if you want to call those rooms. Room three is kind of my kitchen. And then it's calling room four the entire rest of my house. So what I would like to be able to do is separate living room here, dining room, kitchen, you know, you can look, call it laundry, pantry, office, den, entryway. And on Roombas and the Roborocks and all that, you can easily do that. And I don't see that being an option at all. Like, if, like you see, I click room four. Now I can go tell it to clean only room four, but that's going to clean this entire section. I can click room one or two, whatever, but it will literally only clean that little room. So not a very good app overall. I'm not very happy with that. You can do virtual walls, which is essentially no-go zones. I'm going to test that out in a separate video. Uh, and then let me know in the comments what else do you guys want to see with this guy.
they really need to update the software. I, I think it's inexcusable that you cannot label your own rooms. And that just doesn't make sense to me. Some of the other robots don't let you do it either. Roombas are great for it. Roborocks are great. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and check out the roller bar, see how much hair is on that. So as you can see, this thing is very, very bad for hair. Tons tangled around. So yeah, I need to empty this out, obviously, and I will after this video, but as you can see, the, all, all the hair is tangled. So that's kind of another negative. So 200 bucks, still a good price for this robot. Most any robot that's under $200 gonna have the same issue with hair. So this thing is massive failure for hair. And I just wanted to throw that in there since I forgot that in the last video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments, please. Once again, let me know what you wanna see with this guy or any of my other robots or uprights or anything I show on this channel. And uh, if you don't mind, please throw me a like, subscribe, and have an awesome day. See ya.